Today on BRS TV we have granular ferric oxide, also known as GFO. GFO is commonly used in the aquarium industry to remove phosphate. It's critical to keep phosphate levels as low as possible because it inhibits coral growth as well as feeds plague algae growth. Phosphate is added to the aquarium by most aquarius with foods or other additives. And typical water change schedules just doesn't keep up with most aquarius feeding habits. GFO is a perfect supplement to a good water change schedule to help ensure healthy corals and fight algae outbreaks before they happen. It's really important to make sure you fight the algae outbreaks before they happen because once they set in, they can be extremely difficult to fight. This is truly an area where an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. There are two main ways to use GFO in the aquarium. The first is a filter bag like this one. Simply fill it up, rinse it, and throw it in a high flow area of the sump. This is definitely going to be the most affordable way, but it's probably not going to be the most efficient. The most efficient way is going to be an upflow reactor like this one. This is going to ensure that the entire system's water volume passes over the GFO several times a day at the proper contact times with the proper flow rates. We have three different types of GFO at Bulk Reef Supply. The first two are the normal granules and the pellets. These are virtually identical products, almost the same performance. The granules are just a little bit smaller, so they're going to tumble around in a reactor the best. And the pellets are a little bit more uniform shape and size and tend to work best in a filter sock. So we recommend the pellets for its filter sock and the granules if you're going to use it in a reactor. The third type of GFO we have is the HC or high capacity GFO. This is going to remove roughly twice as much phosphate by volume. It's twice as dense, which means that you can fit twice as much media in the same size reactor. It's also twice as hard, which means that it will create less fines as it tumbles around inside the reactor, and the particles themselves are less prone to adhering to each other. To sum it all up, the pellets and the granules are virtually identical. There's only subtle differences, and they're definitely going to be the best value. However, if you're looking for the highest performance product and you don't mind spending a few extra bucks, definitely the HC product is going to be your best bet. If you enjoyed this video and would like to be notified when we make new additions to BRS TV, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Twitter and Facebook. For YouTube, double click on the video itself, which will open up a new window with our YouTube homepage. Locate and click on the subscribe button. You can find our Twitter and Facebook pages in the lower left hand corner of our site. If you sign up for either of these, you also get updates on new products, specials, and other things the BRS team is doing. For Facebook, hit the like button up top, and for Twitter, you can hit the follow button. Thank you for watching BRS TV.